Savu here and in this video we are going to create points or damage text which will spawn after killing an enemy and with that said let's jump into the video. In this scene we are going to kill all 3 harpies and doing that we will add some extra points to our total score. First of all we are going to create an empty game object and name it floating points. We will also add a text mesh component and give it just for now a text value of 100. As you can see now the text isn't really sharp and to change that we will give the character size a really small number let's say 0.1 and increase the font size until we are satisfied with the result. You can also change the font to whatever you want. Change the alignment to center and the anchor to middle center. It is also possible to change the font color in order to make the text clearly visible when inside of your game. Finally, make a prefab out of your game object in order to spawn it whenever you want inside of any script. To do so, I'm going to use the script which handles the life of the harpy monsters. Here, I'm going to create a new public game object variable which will be the prefab we created earlier. Next, it's totally up to you to decide where exactly in your script you want to instantiate the game object. When you know where, simply use the instantiate function and use as the first variable the floating points game object, as the second variable the transform position of the monster and third the quaternion identity. Next inside of unity I'm going to assign the prefab to every harpy monster which holds the script. So far we just achieved to spawn text game object exactly at the same position where our character kills the harpy monsters. The next step is to make this effect more interesting by adding some cool animations. And here comes a very useful tip when creating animations for instantiated game objects. Always create an empty game object which will be the parent of the game object you are going to animate next. That way you can just instantiate the parent game object inside of your scene wherever you want and play around with its position without interfering with any animation. Also before creating the animation make sure to zero out the position of the child. Finally, we are ready and set up to create the animation. The result we want to achieve is to have the points fly up and disappear into the air. To make them fly, just increase the Y value. And for the disappear effect, simply set the font size to 0 at the end of your animation. It is also a very nice effect to make the text pop up right at the start of your animation by increasing the font size. You can very easily adjust and play around with this effect in order to make it suitable for your game. When you are done and happy, apply the changes to your prefab and assign it to the public game object variables of your creatures. As you can see, the animation of the game object is looping and this is nothing we want to have. To change that, just find the animation inside of your project and disable the loop time. It finally works well. But in my opinion I think that the text is really small right now. And for this reason I'm going to increase the scale of the parent game object which has nothing to do with the animation. The last step here is to create a C sharp script which will handle the floating points. Here inside of the script we want to destroy the game object with a destroy function after let's say 1 second. We also want to add a new vector 3 to our local position in order to have the text appear a little bit above the monster. Assign the script to the floating prefab and test the results. Looks great, the effect is exactly like we want it to be. The only thing we need to change is the actual text value which must indicate the exactly points we are going to get when killing a monster. To do this, inside of the script where we instantiated the prefab we are going to instantiate it now as a new game object named points in order to have access to all of its components. We are going to use points.transform.getChild0 in order to have access to the game object with the text component. Since if you remember we just instantiate the empty parent game object of our floating points. Now use the get component text mesh .text and make it equal to the points you get whenever you kill a monster. Let's play the game and test it out. As you can see right now the text is right and equal to the points we get. Of course you can use this effect not only for points but also for damage indicators and any kind of text pop-ups. 
let me show you the final result of this effect that I am using in the actual game after playing around a little bit more with the animations, the colors and the font size. Nothing different from what we did before. Spartup will be available soon for Android, so make sure to pre-register now on Play Store and claim your rewards. The link will be down in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell in order to get notified whenever a new tutorial is up for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!